What's up everyone, it's Baron here today. We're going to be going over the Dominus pack, but before you get into it, I want you to check out our Discord and all the links in the description. Also, I would like to thank our patrons and channel members. So recently we've just had Fateless get the Praetorian uh, channel, well, uh, patron pack. Uh, we've also got the real Donald Dump, which has been here for a couple of months now. And Reynold, I would say Reynold Rosenthal. Uh, he's been here for several months. I'm not too sure if he's forgot about his membership, but thank you guys so much. you really supporting the channel and helping it become to what I want it to be. Um, if you don't become a channel member or patron, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I do highly respect and I'm very highly thankful for the people who do pledge money um obviously you don't have to just enjoy the content but we're going to go into the dominus pack and why you should get it obviously this is in the higher range of spending for star citizen you don't want to get one of these and regret it obviously if you've already got a lot of money invested in the game again that's what i'm saying all these packs that i'm going into now uh, and that i will be going into future like manufacturer packs and whatnot are going to be purely be based on higher figures than what you're used to obviously some of them like the drake pack isn't too bad it's like three and a half i think but you do get a lot of good ships in there and obviously a lot of them aren't out so you don't have to get these straight away but it would be good to get in early because a lot of those ships are going to go up in price upon release so just take that into consideration it's always a key factor in the game um but again this is going to be one of those packs next to the Praetorian pack where you just don't go into it. Um, I will be trying to get access to Legatus pack so I can do a video on that as well. Uh, it's just something that I've got to try and work with Concierge and they might not give me access to it because, you know, it's not a priority, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, as you know, when you're going into uh, a game like this and the packs, you're obviously going to um, expect some sort of expectation for the ships you're going to get and the things that you're going to get are part of that pack. So obviously you know that a lot of these packs, they do come with extras and whatnot, so they also contain a lot of things. So we'll go into that as well. But with this pack here, you get the Idris P, the Endeavor, Gemini, Hammerhead, Redeemer, Hull C, Retaliator Bomber. Obviously I wouldn't keep this because you can get it in-game and it's just overly priced for what it is. You literally are paying like an extra $120 or more for just a single module. Which is ridiculous. Eclipse is a really great ship. Uh, you got the Hoplite, the Vanguard, the Warden, Falcon, which is also going to be another fantastic ship. Your Terrapin's really good. Like I said, people don't like it, but I guess it is what it is. Now, obviously, this pack, like I said, is going to cost a lot of money. Uh, you are getting an Idris in there, so that's something to take into consideration again. It's something that a lot of people do want, but they don't want to pay the price tag uh, of what you're paying here to get the ships. So again this is all relative and playing some sort of a part in the grand scheme of the game <clears throat> so as you know the interest p is about fifteen hundred dollars endeavor 350 so if you were to pay for all these ships as they are <clears throat> without war bond um these don't have in taxes built onto them it's just the core price of the ship you're looking at about 7,160. Now, if you do pay for this pack in Australia, it is gonna set you back about $7,040, obviously, because you got that little bit of tax there. So without that tax as well, uh, let's go back, you're paying $6,400 without that tax. That's the total pack price. And between those two figures that you see, you have a pack savings of about $760. Now, obviously that isn't, that would probably be, um, the same as if you were to pay all the taxes as well, obviously, because you're paying those taxes on the ships individually, the 10% on that price, which will then build that price up later on down the track and further costing it more. So you have to just take in all these different aspects and uh, things into consideration. So again, you got the Idris, which is a capital ship and it's a limited hull ship if you were to buy it by itself. Uh, you got the Endeavor, uh, which again, it's a great ship it comes with i think two medical uh, bays i think it is so you got two medical bays on this <clears throat> nothing too major on it uh you can buy the modules in game once it is released so always take that into consideration if it's cheaper to get it in game just get it in game i wouldn't bother getting it uh as is uh, like the the modules because it's going to cost you a lot of money irl but as a cheaper alternative you could just buy it in game but then you do also get the landing pads on it as well which is another major thing that you want to take into consideration because if you can get it 
in game uh, it's gonna be way better but having that endeavor landing and medical is gonna be really good because obviously you got the hospital there it's gonna be really great for you as a um, uh, an owner of that ship to have that because you have a um, an advantage over a lot of people obviously but again you're paying that massive hefty price tag I mean you got a lot of fighters in here you got a repair refuel and rearm ship which is also fantastic um, you got this Eclipse with size 9 missiles, you got a Hull C which is a decent ship as well with a Hammerhead which is probably going to be a little bit better now since they've done a lot of balancing in the game. You got the Idris P, again you can get the Idris K kit and later on down in the game you can get the Idris M kit. So I think, I feel if you would have spend this much money in the game this would be a very good pack to have but again you would probably want to buy the ships that you want and not have to worry about getting these extra little crappy fighters. I mean, there are great fighters in there, but again, they're easily purchasable in game and I wouldn't go worrying about that anytime soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.